Okay, well, I'm back home, and I figured I'd plant these oat seeds now. Um, I've got like 10 of them. I don't want to take away, I don't want to hoe any of the green, any of the grass around here, because the more grass there is around here, the sooner this will fill in. So what I'm going to do instead, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, I can do it. Nine, ten. There we go. And I really don't need that much oats growing, but it gets it out of my inventory. Speaking of which, do we get to say goodbye to the cabbage? Oh, 2.09 ounces. Yeah. Okay, so we're done here. And we're getting a little bit tight for space. Let's pick up this propic mold here. Grab ourselves. What? It didn't work? Now what did I screw up? Poor native is 15. Four of those is 60. That's 10. 70. That's 10. 80. Oh, these are full sized. Oh, man. I forgot. These are the ones I chipped out of the rock with a pick. These are real swell rate, not nuggets. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, that means I'm going to be stuck here another night. I'm not going to make you guys sit through it, but I'll fire this thing up, make up my pro pick, beat my head against the wall a few times for being such a dumbass, and uh, then when morning comes around, uh, we can go over and uh, do something a little more interesting. All right. I'll see you back here. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Did I finally get a recipe right? And yes, I did. And just to let you in on a little secret, I already checked. Because if it wasn't right, I wasn't going to let you guys know. You'd laugh at me. <laughs> You'd mock me, make fun of me. Eh, well. I would have deserved it, but hey. Anyway, I went out and chopped down the uh, stubby remains of that kapok tree that from before. The one was out here, so clear up the view a little bit while we're at it. Okay, and now we have a propic head. Ooh, we have a free vessel too. That'll come in handy. Let's get this stuff out of my inventory. Uh, refill a few of these guys. They were getting a little low. And is there anything else I need here? This guy could prove handy. Having a second water jug. Oh, I already made more water jugs. Oh, God. Ah, uh, yeah. Where's your head, Maya? And I made myself another vessel for holding stuff. And this is just a scythe uh, mold, just in case. Decide I need it. Okay, with these in hand now, we can finally go and get some copper. Meet you over at what was about to become our mine. Okay, here we are back at the uh, place where we found the tat. Now that we have our pro pick, how close is it to the surface? Okay, this isn't picking up anything here. Uh, we found one over this way. Saltpeter. <laughs> well, that might be fun later if we want to make gunpowder, but right now... Nope. Okay, so it's down a little ways. From looking at where these torches are, there, there, and there, I would make the middle of this about here. All right. So the nice thing about finally being mining is once I get underground a bit, I'll just be able to seal it behind me and I'll be in a lit space that mobs can't get into, which means I can mine through the night. So one way or another, I'm going to find this stuff and get it out. 
Let's see here. Yeah, just the salt beater. All right, well, this is going to take a while. So, again, I'll bring you back in when there's something interesting. Bye for now. There we go. Ah, looks like it's in some uh, Ganese, actually. All right, let's just see what kind we got here. And it is... Ah, uh, it's just regular, but that's fine. At least it's not poor. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to have to... Do I have enough sticks? No, I don't have enough sticks to make very many ladders, but I'll work something out get myself out of here. So now comes the chore of, of course, just setting up the mine. At least I'm at the top of it. That's good because that means I can dig down into it and there'll be far less likelihood of getting cave-ins. If you've watched my other series, you see I don't bother with uh, making support beams. I have a digging pattern that it's, it doesn't guarantee that I'll never get a cave in, but it makes it very unlikely. Maybe I should explain that sometime, but I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to uh, start working on uh, digging down to this stuff. So um, I guess I'll probably, I probably will wait and pull you back in when I've made it back home. But at least finally now I have found a copper supply. Yeah, hoo. Oh, and it's a uh, very large, by the way, in case you didn't know. Okay. Oh, there's more of it. Yay, yay. Yeah, I figured it was going to be a pretty big one anyway, just because of the spread of it above. So. Okay. I'll see you in a while. Well, okay. I'm back from my overnight camping trip, and I picked up, uh, I mined out 48 regular tetrahedrite here. 25 units of uh, copper in them, in each of them. I would have stayed longer and gotten more, but I ran out of torches. And the only reason for that is because I, since we're on hostile, I don't want to leave a lot of dark spaces, any dark spaces in the mine, or else when I come back there, it could be full of mobs. So I don't feel like fighting them. But anyway, so now we can take, say, a vessel like this, and can I make, how much bronze can I make? Ah, to hell with it. Let's make a bunch of, let's just get some, get some copper tools here. So this will give me 400. Um, what have I got? I've got one, two, three, four things ready to make anyway. Yeah, so let's just do that. There. Make it easy on ourselves. Put that guy in there. Oh, and I have, uh, where did I put my clay? Do I have it on me? No. Oh, I have another, oh, that's right. I do have another vessel sitting here. It has some stuff in it. Uh, it has more copper and that. So it didn't have any more bismuth. So that was all I cared about really right now. Let's get some more of these rocks out of the way. And uh, what can we make? Uh, we got another pick. A uh, shovel. Decent shovel would be nice. And might as well, whoops, might, <laughs> might as well get myself a hoe. Oh, that's a scythe. Eh. Uh. Oh, well, no hoe for me. All right, so let's get this stuff put in there. Okay. Well, I just realized I'm out of stick. I only got one stick left, so this guy better light it. Sticks have been pissing me off all day. I actually had a bunch of sticks with me down in the, uh, 
down in the mine. Uh, let's come back here to get them from leaves. I had a bunch of sticks with me down in the mine, like 10 or so. And so when I started running out of torches, I said, oh, well, I'll just make myself a, uh, a fire pit. How many have I got here? Four. One, a few more. Just make myself a fire pit and, uh, and cook up some more torches. So I threw down three sticks. Used up my fire starter. It didn't start. Made, used up two more sticks for another fire starter. And that, and that didn't start. Uh oh. First thing, let's get this stuff down on my bar. Okay. And uh, so by the time I finally was able to get a fire starter to start it, I was only down to like, I was down to like three sticks. <laughs> Okay. Well, you know, this is the same drill as before. Uh, except with one little change, I think. Is he outside here where I can hit him? No. Because he has a shovel. I wouldn't mind taking that shovel away from him. He's probably up top where I left him, so. Oh well. All right, so I will bring you back. It'll probably be morning soon. Yeah, another four hours, so this will still be burning. So I'll bring you back in the morning and uh, see what we have we can do. And then we'll pour out ourselves a bunch of tools and finally have a saw and we'll be able to make a chest to hold all of our stuff. And we'll be able to make a chisel and go and get some shaped rock and... And oh, we can finally like expand this place and get some room. That'll be that'll be nice. So, see you in the morning. Well, I uh, took out this piece of uh, straw here or thatch here last night, and that's where the zombies were piling up. So I whacked away at a few of them, and one was carrying a bronze shovel, and the other was carrying either an iron or a steel shovel. So let's see if they dropped either of them. They just died recently. Take anything? Take anything? Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Rotten flesh. Just their rotting flesh. That's it. Oh, actually, one of the guys ran off here to die. Ah, uh, he didn't leave me anything either. Ah. Worthless zombies. Actually, they're selfish. They take their tools with them to the grave. Okay, there's not too much to do around here until this uh, is done, so I'll probably uh, start working away at lopping down another tree. And uh, probably time to start working on a charcoal pit. Bet you this is connected to that tree. Let's find out. <laughs> kind of funny, eh? I whack at this little thing. It doesn't move. But then the tree beside it sheds many logs. Shed loads. It sheds shed loads of logs. Missing any? Yeah. Ah, come on. You got at least one more to give me, right? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, forgot about that guy there. All right, let's make another one. And then we should be our uh, our pit kiln should be done by then. All right. 
one more crack at the kit and it should be done for not let my cats hear me saying that though oh i'm all full up goodbye actually I, yeah actually there's no point is there because i won't even be able to hold any of the uh logs oh, threw the wrong thing away jeez i wanted to do that so i guess there's no point and our pit kiln has finished up so let's start stacking some of these logs up to get them out of our our inventory okay get that out of my way you down here free up some room there we go 400 units of copper okay so what do we want here we want oh we want a saw man do we ever want a saw okay we have a saw uh what else our pick is almost dead so we need another pick there he is what oh <laughs> i happened to hit the uh fire pit we still got lots of room on our uh or lots of wear left on our uh, prospector's pick there so who is next on the hit parade uh max decent axe definitely i keep going in there when i don't need to Get out of there. Okay, and last but not at all least, it's going to be the chisel. Yeah. A lot of people underrate the chisel. Powerful tool, that. And I just go and throw it away. Oh, crap. I better eat something before I, uh, ah, before it damages me. Eee. Okay. All right, good. Uh, what else can I eat here? 47, 94, 30. Well, actually. 1.3 ounces, yeah, let's finish off the green. There we go. Get that out of there. Had some veggies. My mama always told me to eat my veggies. Uh, what else are we low on here? Protein. Sure, I got some rotting meat here to eat. Mm -mm. I love me a bit of green meat. I might as well finish off. Okay. Um, where are we at now? Okay, let's build these things. Oh, here, oh yeah, obviously I have room for them all. Do, do, do. Oh, that's not going to work. i got to take them out first. Okay. Just get myself sorted out here. Now that I have this wealth of copper tools. Oh, I'll probably use that, that thing up first, though. Sure. The new pickaxe. The new chisel. If I'm going to use a chisel, then... Actually, uh, this guy is full, right? I just filled him up. Yeah. Actually, so I've got something in mind. So let's put you in there. And oh, what shall we make first? What shall we make first? Oh, I want to make lots of things. Oh, but I I got to be careful about my uh, my storage space for a moment. Oh, that's right. The first thing I need to do is expand my crafting table. Okay, build myself four block plank blocks out of which I can build myself a crafting table. And now as soon as I take it out, boom, see, I expand into the crafting grid. So I don't actually have to carry the table around with me. It's uh, now a capability I have uh, until I die. When I die, it goes back to just two by two. All right, so that helps a little bit there. Um, yeah, I don't want that to disappear. So, um... Next thing, I guess, is let's just quickly throw down chest somewhere around here. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, actually, no, I don't need, need to put the chest down here, do I? Ha! I have a better idea than that. To keep it accessible, I will put it here. There we go. Now I can finally put some stuff away. All right, I don't need this stuff right now. 
Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, let's just keep one pile of rocks on me. And this is all crap. Whoops, nope, I want to keep that one. Okay, next thing I wanted to do... Eh, we're running out of time here. Okay, let's uh, get ourselves safe. Because the next thing I wanted to do was build at least one... Oh, I need a log. Build myself at least one barrel so I can start working on this jute. I'll show you that in a moment since that's another new mechanic in the in this version of the mod. Um, yeah, let's just go for one barrel at the moment. I will eventually want more of them, but I'm going to want to plan out my... Uh, what my new home is going to be like, at least have a rough idea of it before I go too far with this stuff. So, um, should be able to do this, eh? Yeah, we, so we can drop the barrel down there. Oh, and now we can make buckets. Buckets, buckets, buckets. We can make buckets of buckets. Uh, so what do we have here? Like that, right? Two should be good enough. One, two. And with these, I don't know if this is always true or not, but I just recently found out that you can, uh, like normally you open up, the, you know, the, normally the way you use these uh, barrels is you open up and then you put that one in and then you remove it and move the next one in. Um, but as long as, I think as long as it's set to in, this button can be in or out. As long as it's set to in, I think you can just, like you can just shift click and that'll also put the water in from the outside. So that makes it a lot faster and whoops more convenient you can just shift click and uh, uh, shift click okay there we go now i don't have to move <laughs> and i think that's the end of it right no no i got two more oh i took them out oh oh so it doesn't matter whether it's whether the button's set in or out if you click on it with an empty bucket Oh, I must just missed it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but now it's full. Okay, so now we can put this jute in here and seal it up. And then that's going to uh, loosen the fibers from the jute, which we can then, from which we can then make some rope. <clears throat> oh, this creaking chair. I've only had this chair. I've had this chair for less than a year. And it now lists to one side the vinyl on one of the armrests already has already cracked and it started creaking and the all the various mechanisms on you know the tilt and all that they don't hold their lock position i mean talk this gotta be like the crappiest chair i've ever bought so anyway uh you don't care about that but anyway that was just by way of explaining what all the creaking was in the background so all right uh, we don't need these buckets on us right now oh what else do we want to build with our wood anything else at this moment I don't think so. Although actually it now occurs to me that I really should build another barrel. Because we saw some cows not too far from here, didn't we? Yes, we did. So we can... Uh... Well, actually the other thing I can do is put a door on here now. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make ourselves a door. I can never keep track of whether zombies still tear down doors or not. I mean, they used to, and then they didn't, and then, you know, who fucking knows. Whoops, should I used the bad word there. Maybe I can bleep it out or something. I'll leave it in. What do I care? But who the hell knows? That's what I meant to say. Who the hell knows? There we go. Don't want anyone dropping in unexpectedly, so to speak. <laughs> I'm such a wit. Okay, uh, what else we got here that we can do? So we have our chisel. Uh, it's mostly right now going to be useful for getting some smooth stone for building with. Um, mm -hmm. The axe, the pick. I think we're pretty much done for tonight. Oh yeah, I need to fill this up. Uh, we're probably not that far from morning, are we? No, it's already 1 o'clock. So. Anyway, so I will see you back here in the morning, and oh golly, what will we do next?
<laughs> I don't know. I'll think about that when I bring you back in the morning. I hopefully will know. See you then. Okay, come on, Leghorn. Sing me the song of your people. Oh, God, was that ever faint? Oh, I, you guys probably didn't even hear it. Maybe I'll be able to boost it up a bit in post, but I could just barely hear him. Must have moved further away. Oh, at least he won't be disturbing my sleep if I want to sleep in some morning. You know, say on the weekends. No, no bad guys. I came out last night and whacked out a few uh, branch, branches out here to get some some more sticks so I can make some torches. And I'm almost stickless again. Stickless, I said. Don't go thinking I said something else. You guys, you have such dirty minds. Ah, I don't need to cut out too many here, I think, because soon I'll be able to make myself a uh, scythe and then I can get sticks much more quickly than this. So just enough to keep me going for now. Ten. Yeah, that should be... That should do me. All right. So what are we going to do today? Uh, we're getting toward the end of this video. So things on the list is I really want a better home. Um, what I have in mind, what I'm thinking of is usually I just build kind of like a stone bungalow kind of thing. You know, it looks like a you know nuclear shell raid shelter or something like that. What I was thinking of doing this time is it's always nice to have, to be on the, like to actually have water, uh, fresh water available in the house. I mean, I know I can get a, actually I've never done this, I guess on screen, but I can get a barrel and fill it with water and keep it inside and, and use that as my water supply. But then you have to keep running out and refilling it. By the way, like you can, I guess I've never done that either. Um, I believe this will still work. Yeah. As I can take this out and move it. And it's still sealed up with the water and everything and the, uh, and the jute inside of it. So it's not like once you've got them running that you have to, hmm, interesting. Uh, it's not like once that, once they're working on something that you have to leave them there or anything like that. But it's just, I just find it a pain to have to keep coming out and refilling a, uh, a water barrel, though I'll, I'll do it if I have to. Um, so what I was thinking of doing this time is building out of more of a combination of things. I kind of, I, I want to try out a post and beam structure, but I'm not sure I can make it work the way I want to. So I'll probably work on doing up some examples like, like I did in season two for the roofing. I'll probably work up some examples for you guys to look at in the next episode, and then you can give me your feedback on that. But what I was basically thinking of is somewhere in around here, I'll have a two by two pool of sort of infinite water and then all the stuff that needs water will be in that lower level. So, you know, the barrels here for processing jute, the barrels for creating alcohol and vinegar, and uh, I'll probably put the cheese barrels down there as well. So just to have them all together. And because the cheese needs vinegar. Um, and have that all downstairs. And then I can also have that as like a storage area for food. So it'll be a, you know, I can at least set aside part of it to be a dark, cool area for for longer term food storage and then have the upper area be the living area and uh and i don't know whether i'll incorporate the metal working inside or just put it outside i i have no idea about that yet but that's sort of basically what i was thinking is kind of have two levels and the bottom level is the you know everything water related goes down in the bottom level and then the upper levels for everything else so but feel free to toss out ideas that you might have and, uh, I mean, if an idea, even after I get into, oh, it's, <laughs> I was drinking one really, what I need to do is eat. Even after I built a bunch of stuff, if someone comes up with like a really cool idea, I don't mind ripping down half the house and restarting. It's not a problem. Um, but yeah, so I don't think I want to actually work on the house now, but just because we're too far into this video. The other thing is to go back over here, rather over here and get more copper. Um, I'd also like to pick up some more of that sphalerite and see if I can't find, uh, find that bismuth vein so that we can, uh, start making some bronze stuff. And as well, oh, I guess that's one thing we can do right now is we're going to need our stone anvil. So we need a hard stone. I don't even remember what stone we're on here now. Oh, look at this. Oh, the onion. Oh, these are actually ready. 
This is the first, so it was, this was garlic I planted, wasn't it? Yeah, so this is my first crop already ready. Yay! Probably shouldn't have plucked it all, but I'm just so excited about my first crop. It'll, right now it doesn't rot in the ground. I think there's actually a configuration setting for it, so I could turn on uh, rot if I wanted to. I got six, so I got exactly six seeds back. I pulled up six plants, got six seeds back. And that's basically the way it works. Every time you harvest uh, a plant in its edible form, you will get whatever it is you get to eat. Plus you'll get one bag of seeds. Oh no, whoops here. Now, see my agricultural skill is only 48. As your agricultural skill goes up, um, as it improves, gets higher, uh, you get higher percentage chance of getting more than one seed. So that sort of thing is like, you know, especially, you know, you, you may just find like one or two a jute, say. That happened to me in, in another world I was playing, and I was only able to find two jute plants that, could, that were ripe enough to give me seeds at the time before winter set in. And so I, I've been nursing those, you know, I had to get up to, I think, I think I was up around 300. My agriculture skill was around 300 before I got my first additional jute seed. So that was, uh, that was interesting. Anyway. I'm babbling a little bit. We were coming out here to look for, I don't remember if chert is valid, if chert is hard enough or not. I don't think so. I don't think, because chert isn't igneous, is it? I don't think so. I don't even think it's igneous intrusive, so. I think chert is a sedimentary rock, but we'll find out. All right, well, we have a death pit here. There should be some chert handy down here. I thought it was a death pit. Aren't you a death pit? Yeah. I thought so. Well, not the usual death pit, though. Usual death pit. There, see, now it's fallen down and crumbling and making all its death pity noises. Oh, this could bring everything down on my head. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it looks like there's a whole cavern down here. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Now we're down to this stone. So if I take this hammer... Yeah, so that's not a hard stone. Yeah, so this is... Uh, looks like this is just a ravine. It didn't quite break the surface, turning it into a bit of a death pit. So let's get rid of the parts that might want to fool me. The clay's good, you can walk on that and it won't fall through. It's just the dirt. Okay, so one of the nice thing about all those, uh, oh, this is just another part of it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, could just come over here. Oh, look at all this, all the chert here. I didn't have to do all that at all. So one of the nice thing about all those, um, I want to call them spas, uh, hot springs, is that the hot springs are basically where, um, you know, some magma has come up to the surface and it's built a magma tube all the way up to the surface. And that's what's heating up the water. And magma, by the very definition of its term, is an igneous substance or forms igneous rocks rather so even if you're in an area full of full of uh, sedimentary rocks all you have to do is find one of those uh, find one of those hot springs and Bob's your uncle you've got yourself a uh, some igneous rocks. Oh, smell right. Hmm. Ooh, another one. But of course, having tripped over half a dozen hot springs on my way over here, like from my spawn point, day one, I have no idea where they are now. Oh, there's another one on the other side of the lake, isn't there? Oh, time's getting late. Ah. 
that should be my next thing. I should that should be the next thing I do is I should go looking for sheep, so I can build a frippin' bed. Still, I want to do this. I can do it. We have the power. Is it over here? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, see, there's basalt around here, which is an igneous rock. There we go. Excellent. Excellent choice, Smithers. Okay, let's get you out of the way. I'm not sure whether you're a deathly. No, you're not. You out of the way. Uh, you. That's what I want to see. This guy's going to be easy to break free. All we have to do is knock this one out from underneath him. There we go. And we have our stone anvil. So the other thing is, have I found... Oh yeah, I think I found chalk, right? So I've got a source of flux. I'll double check on that once I get back inside. Um, for now, you can stay up there. Actually, you... Dacite, Gabbro, Gneiss, Clay... Nothing in there, right? Um, should replant the garlic too, since we have basically endless uh, growing seasons out here. Nothing in there. Here, have some celery. Right? Hmm. Day site. No, I guess I haven't run into any. Uh, Flux rocks yet, eh? Hmm, that's going to be a problem. Yeah. So that's something else. So tomorrow I think what I'll do is... <clears throat> well, between episodes, I'm going to kind of rough out the idea I have for the bigger house. And then on... In, and then the next episode I'll show you what I've done there. And then I think I'll go looking for sheep and for some flux rock. Because that's very quickly going to get in the way for us. So, All right. Well, thank you for joining me. There's now like just so much to do. No, <laughs> Finally have a secure supply of copper and I'm no longer... What's the word? I was going to say blutzing. That's not a word, but let's make it one. I was blutzing up all of these uh, recipes here. So now that, you know, I got my shit together, we're moving. So thanks for joining me. I hope to see you here back in episode six, I guess it will be. Bye.